Parts of Iron Four Weebs and Anime Weebs have come together to spawn upon the world the most mid mod ever, the Chainsaw Man mod, with crazy anime girls, the literal embodiment of Satan, <laughs> and a fucked up looking owl. Played this a long while ago, made a video that barely anybody watched, and lately my channel was going on the dick. So if I'm already falling off, why not play some mid in the meantime? My thoughts on Chainsaw Man are mixed though, so I'm not gonna play any of those nations today, cause the developer also added something special. Just look at this. But unfortunately, the focuses for the Jujutsu Kaisen characters are very small, and everybody knows I like him big, so we also have the Amestris Unitary State, ruled by none other than King Bradley himself. That's right, they added the GOAT to the mid mod. So this is what we're gonna play. We are of course getting weekly manpower from our Führer, we have knowledge of the alchemy, Amestrian pride and of course the Monroe doctrine, what the fuck? Why is that still here? Doesn't really seem needed now that the cartoons have taken over the countries. Anyway, let's call a national meeting. Ah, back to two research slots. It feels like home. Damn. I only got two divisions at 30% strength. How the fuck am I gonna spread happiness and goodwill with only two divisions? I really need to lock in and get my shit together. What the fuck? This mod has guides. I actually forgot about this. God damn it, Sikoraki. I've been playing for a couple minutes and I already found a bug. Factories are not displayed correctly. I got way more than 10 apparently. And that's from oil, I think, yeah. Also, I just realized Puerto Rico is a thing. And they are ruled by the goat himself. And they got a custom focus tree, but again, it's short. And that's kind of unfair for the guy with the biggest schlong in anime. Man, it's been so long since I watched Full Metal Alchemist, I don't recognize a single character from here. But I guess this guy is pretty good, so let's hire him. Only for 50 pp. That's a bargain. Do you guys know what type of people I like? The ones that click the subscribe button and help me reach 50k until the end of this year. People that also check my Patreon from the description are pretty cool too. So, are you chill like that? Whoa, this already. I never thought an anime mod could have been historically accurate. Puerto Rico just declared war on Nicaragua and Costa Rica. And as it happened in the anime, this guy attacked Gojo first. And you know what? That's a pretty cool detail. We all know how this attack is gonna end though. So I guess Puerto Rico is gonna get annexed by the USA pretty soon. Everything here is finished. Now, spoiler alert, we need to wait for this guy to be killed. I don't know when this is gonna happen, so I'm gonna do some industry in the meantime. Getting one more sieve, nothing too serious. Okay, this actually didn't take that long. He's dead. Only managed to do one and a half focuses. And now we, of course, need to brush the assassination under the rug so we can unlock our path, which is gonna end up in some very kinky stuff. But I don't want to spoil it for now. Come on, man. What the fuck is this? Strikers, for real. What are they striking about? We're just a peaceful, welfare-oriented country. We didn't assassinate anybody. It's all just fake news. Man, I so hope that this is not YouTube bannable. It's gonna fuck up my army for 260 days though. So I'm not happy about it either. Oh, come on. Now, this is a little bit unfair. Those guys are not gonna have any chance, man. Oh, wait. Peru is helping them, apparently. Benavides, what the fuck? I knew you were a dictator, but come on, this is over a certain threshold of evilness. Also, I'm very glad that Belize was used to be ruled by Nobara, but I guess she got clapped. Man, that girl cannot catch a W. Not even in a Hearts of Iron mode. So sad. And our political path has come to a grueling stop again, because we need to actually sacrifice Mustang, and he needs to be captured by the homunculi. That's gonna take a while, so let's do a little bit of army. Because industry is booming under my command. They should hire me to build stuff in real life, for real. I'm at least managing the economy better than both Joe and the orange guy combined. It's only 1937, but the world is already on fire. Italy and Yugoslavia are at war. And you won't believe what Yugoslavia and Romania's faction is called. The Czech Antant, of course. Austria-Hungary is a thing. 
and half of Portugal and a part of Spain joined the Allies, together with France. So they interfered in the goddamn civil war. Spain is not even gonna remain democratic. Britain is just shooting itself in the foot for now. Also China gave the fucking peninsula away. This happens so goddamn rarely. I forgot it was possible. Oh, and they are going ham on their neighbors. And they seem to not do very well. Oh, and Japan is already justifying on them. They have 60 days left. Say a prayer in the chat for China, guys. They're not gonna last much longer. And it seems like King Bradley has outlived his purpose. It's time for the father to take over. And look at all that weekly manpower. Five times as much as this fucker. It's not a hard choice to make. Oh, look at him. So badass. I love this guy. He was the coolest villain in the 2010s anime. Well, now that I think about it, maybe I shouldn't endorse him that much on YouTube, because if I remember correctly, he wanted to commit mass murder or something like that. So let's uh, let's get over that. Oh, it's civil war time. Fortunately for us, they got the bad part of the country. This river is gonna be a bitch to cross though, but it is what it is. This was a canon event, so you can't do much about it. Those guys don't have a custom focus tree though, so they suck. Talk about subversing the fucking expectations. A three-way civil war in Venezuela. Now I've seen it all. How many more nations can you fit in this sorry country? Took the upper hand in the south, but things are not moving as well in the north. Those guys are really good at defending, but they also don't have a focus tree, so we all know who the main character is here. Oh fuck, I barely noticed this. I lost my streak of giving the woman's right to die in the army too. I'm ashamed of myself. Man, how the fuck do those guys have so many fucking divisions? Oh, they joined the Sorcerer's United Front. Yeah, that makes sense. Can't a man have a simple civil war in this game? Does this shit needs to keep happening to me always? Something big happened in the Soviet Union, but I don't know what. They are ruled by an actual person now. Persia actually did the Perso Ottoman Empire. They are not pulling any moves though. They didn't conquer it a thing. Caught them lacking. This is what happened to China. The Cosmo Click. What the fuck? Fuck. I don't know who this bitch is. I didn't read the manga. Italy is actually getting its ass kicked. Austria-Hungary decided to look a little silly today. And I really don't want to talk about Spain ever again. That's just too much. Well, the focus stage just came to an abrupt end. I got to choose a couple of buffs here, so I chose infinite stability and division attack and defense. So now I just score the Americas by doing this. But I'm not quite ready yet, because I'm still fighting myself. And I need to take care of the demons first. So let's get a couple more army bonuses to get the ball rolling. <laughs> no. <laughs> ah, man. The most cursed Iberian Socialist Union just formed. What the fuck? They also have the islands. No. Why is the game punishing us? We did nothing. Well, except getting this fucking maniac in charge of a country. But that's my only sin so far. Oh shit, brother, it's only mid-1940, why is Germany invading the Soviets so easy? What the fuck is going on? Also, I just got a notification that told me the Spanish monarchy was restored. Those two guys are communist, Galicia is also communist, and the Basque country is also communist, so where the fuck is the monarchy restored? Oh, and I still cannot push, like, at all. This is my template so far, I got all those buffs. Those buffs, this other buff, yet more and more, but I cannot push. The enemy lost 113k manpower so far, I just cannot do anything. I also feel like building some tanks this game, so I'm gonna start researching. I don't think I'm gonna do anything before I reach the modern tank, cause I'm just silly like that. It's just impossible. My troops do hit pretty hard, but this is a mountain and a river, and they are stacking 10 divisions in this one single tile. I think I will just fucking retreat and encircle them in the plains of Venezuela. Then keep fighting in the mountains for no reason. I even ran out of manpower. And I'm getting 4k of that every month. Okay, that kind of worked, kind of didn't. I encircled like 10 divisions, but they have 100. So yeah, th this is gonna take a while. I'm fucking fighting Gojo, that's why. He's the honored one after all. Finally, I did it. I got to this tile, now I can kill all their divisions in the port. I also just realized something. I'm not fucking coring my country. 
I only have 300k core population, that's why I had no manpower. So let's go back and do this focus, maybe I can record my country. Damn, this is only 35 days to core two continents. Big W. Oh look, the Persa Ottoman Empire is expanding, they conquered Iraq. Good for them. Hmm. Yeah, hmm, yeah, yeah, this is, this is kinda rough. I was just about to finish off the sorcerers. Cause our interaction in this port kind of went like how Shibuya went for them. But I guess we cannot have nice things in Venezuela. Boo hoo. At least I can keep massacring the Americans here. I even got a border with them somehow. And by the way, in fact, that focus did not core my country back. So I'm still only rocking 300k core population. And I just lost this state. Amazing. Oh my fucking god, Brazil too. Will this ever fucking stop? I have no goddamn manpower. And I can no longer kill the divisions from here, I don't know why. Maybe because my strength is low, because I have no manpower left. Well, at least I'm not getting naval invaded to hell and back by the USA. I don't know how the fuck that hasn't happened yet. But I'm so fucking glad I don't have to deal with naval invasions as well. So far, almost 3 million people have perished in this port. Only half a million Americans. We need to pump those numbers up. And yeah, not a lot is going on. Other than all this shit, South America is actually quite chill for the moment. I shouldn't have said anything. It just fucking started. And by the Brazilians from all people. I couldn't trust the USA to have basic decency, but at least I trusted the Brazilians. Oh, look, I got an ally. Oh, I got quite a number of them actually. They are sure not gonna only extend my front and make my life way harder. I think Colombia is actually gonna take my port, so I won't be even able to core the rest of my country again. Good stuff. Well, yep, they got it before me, of course. And that was four and a half million people. For nothing. Because the USA just keeps getting more and more divisions. Yugoslavia actually puppeted Italy, by the way. I don't know what the fuck is it still called the Kingdom of Denji, because this bold ass motherfucker surely isn't Denji. Okay, so what the fuck do I do now? Do I just declare war on Colombia? I don't have enough troops for that, because I don't got the manpower. Hmm, tough choices. I wanted to declare war on Colombia and get a couple more cores, but apparently all the goddamn war goals that I got on all those goddamn countries expired all at once. I did got the stability hit as well for each one, and that's kind of weird because I got cores on all those nations. They shouldn't be able to be allowed to expire, but okay, who am I to complain? Let's just shut the fuck up and start justifying. It's only 15 days after all. Whoa, this was really quick. I just had to take Bogoda and that was it. I got a lot of core population now, so it's time to push out as many divisions as I can. I do got a lot more borders to cover now, so it's not all just good news, but I should be able to garrison those. Took out Ecuador as well, now I'm struggling to snake through the Amazon. I still believe that this is the biggest mistake Paradox has made after introducing Italy to the game. But I just finished researching the modern tanks chassis, so let's try to design something here. I always just hit auto design and then just add whatever, like a stabilizer. And I think I can do more engine and more armor, because reliability is pretty hard, but I don't have experience, fuck it. I never have enough experience. Anyway, things are looking pretty good now. I'm not really in any danger anymore. I'm just at war with half the world, not a biggie. Somehow I ended up being at war with Tarantuva and Mongolia. One of the Mongolias. And Germany is now at war with everybody else, by the way. <laughs> oh my fucking god. Guess who the leader of the League of Curses is? Judging by the color, you would say that it's El Salvador, right? Nope, not even close. It's Tarantuva, of course. They are a major power, which needs to be defeated for the war to end. Of course. Why would I even think otherwise? It's my mistake here for real. The only big problem that I'm facing right now is that I have no fucking resources. All I have is 72 steel that I got from my focus tree. And all the way to the coast of Brazil, there is no other source of steel for me. Like literally nothing. And I cannot trade with anybody because I'm at war with the USA and they will just make my steel pay a visit to the bottom of the ocean every single time. I currently have a pretty huge deficit. It. So I guess I will just keep my experience to go further into my land doctrine. 
then design a tank that I won't be able to produce. I managed to do the trick again. It took a while to bait those guys right here and then cut them off. Yes, this is fucking jungle. I declared war on Peru as well, but I cannot capture Lima for the love of God, because it's a mountain, of course. And I ran out of manpower in the process of trying to acquire that city. I lost half a million men, what the fuck? Oh, and I got encircled here. I didn't even notice until now. Okay, good to know. The enemy lost 11 million, by the way. I still don't know how I'm gonna capitulate Tanotova, but I will worry about that later, when I just eradicate all those divisions. Oh yeah, and I ended up at war with more people, like the eight Spains. So somehow, I don't know man, this game is really weird. There is something very weird going on on this little island. It doesn't have a port. Those divisions should not have any supply. But they have been just attacking me for the past 3 months without getting any attrition. And they do get resupply from time to time. I really don't get this. I don't know what's happening. Maybe it's just that the AI is cheating again. I am also starting to run out of a lot of manpower. I need around 50k for my divisions now and I don't have it. Also, I started losing a lot of equipment, because the ones at the bottom are not receiving any steel, so I need to move them up, actually. Took out Chile, I finally have access to some goddamn steel, so it's time to ramp up that tank production. I recovered in everything else, so I have a little bit of a wiggle room now. I just press the buttons to hopefully take out Brazil in some time. I'm not at war with Argentina, which is surprising. I didn't know that. And yep, those guys are still here, not dead. They didn't build a port and they are still alive. And well, almost 15 million people died in this conflict and the US is still doing fine. They have half a million manpower left on service by requirement and a lot of divisions. I'm gonna take out those guys, take Argentina and then try to move up Central America. Which isn't gonna be very easy though, because I feel very claustrophobic in this region of the world. Also, the Perso Ottoman Empire is about to die. They didn't achieve much this game, so that's a shame. The factions are also looking terrible, look at this shit. I'm glad that at least Norway is chilling. They actually gave those states to Sweden willingly. I went to Brazil, and it didn't end up good. For Brazil, of course. Paraguay and Uruguay are actually stronger than Brazil and I cannot capitulate them. Again. Man, if I only had a penny for each time this happened. I would have like a full dollar. And in this economy, I will take every single dollar I can get. So, I don't know, is this a good time to plug my Patreon? Or am I overdoing it a bit? Yeah, I don't know, whatever. But now I have 1 million manpower, so let's train some more divisions. And I also have more steel, so let's make more guns. And a lot of everything else. Oh, shit. Argentina just became South America. Well, I have bad news for you, buddy. Because that's me. And you're not gonna kick my ass. I'm the one who kicks ass here. The fuck is this? 60 divisions, get out of here. The campaign reached the point every single South American playthrough ends in conquering an entire continent, except the three untouchable states. And now I'm gonna start getting my way up the Central American countries. What the fuck is Costa del Pueblo? Oh, it's Costa Rica, okay. I'm gonna capitulate them so fucking hard. They won't know what hit them. They have been sabotaging this campaign so goddamn hard. For absolutely no reason, I did nothing to them. I just got bullied by Gojo and then he dipped. Oh my fucking god, wild, formable nation, let's go. You don't see those very often. I was giving the Perso Ottoman Empire a lot of shit this game, but they actually came back from extinction. They managed to push. And Germany is getting naval invaded. Womp womp, get better. What the fuck is this Banat? Oh no, this is legendary Romania. How the fuck did this thing end up being alive? Okay, kinda weird. Well, it's safe to say that the pushing up the Central American countries is not gonna be easy at all. Because the Americans just decided to stack 40 troops on this one tile. I even closed the port, so I don't know what I should be doing now. I do have some special forces buffs. So I'm gonna try to make some of those divisions. I do not have enough chromium to build a lot of tanks. So the tank divisions are pretty far in the future. Two tanks are finally out. Those are the stats. And this is the template. I didn't use any SP artillery this time, but I hope it's gonna hit quite good. Let's bring them to the front and see how they do. Oh, yeah, right. I almost forgot. Tanks are dog shit in jungle. My mistake, fellas. I'm definitely gonna do it again later. Not trying to bullshit anybody. Well, okay then, it's nuke time. 
Let's remove a shitload of military factories in order to build nuclear reactors. I can't use the mills anyway cause this continent is bare of resources. There is literally nothing here. How can those guys even survive like this? It's a mystery to me. Oh for fuck's sake, I had air superiority here for literal years and now that I have nukes, it's gone. They stacked this zone up with planes and I cannot get it anymore. Why does the game have to be this mean to me? Maybe if I bomb the airports here, we can achieve something. Oh, right, four bombers is not enough to do anything. My bad. Let's just cancel all of those and roll over and cry for a little bit. Ah, <laughs> uh, you guys know what. I am something of a bastion of democracy myself. Oh wait, what the fuck, I'm not at war with those countries. I really didn't know that. Anyway, let's try to push now and get Costa Rica out of its misery because they lost half a million men. The whole country only has 600,000, so they weren't gonna last much longer. Also, I can get a whole two entire chromium if I occupy Nicaragua and that's gonna help me so much. What the fuck were those two guys so weak in comparison to Costa Rica? I managed to push a 30 division stack here. Without nukes. I don't understand, man. What the fuck is this huge skill difference? Anyway, we just got a border with the USA. So it's time to pay a visit to two-year-old Joe Biden and throw him in a well or something. Oh, no, wait. Joe was supposed to be eight years old in 1950, my mistake. I thought he was a little younger. And Trump is supposed to be six. So guess who's missing the school bus? What the fuck? The Americans just bombed a patch of jungle. I knew they were pissed with the environment, but come on. What did this patch of tree ever do to America? They're not even speaking Vietnamese. And I'm pretty sure they don't know much Mexican either. And of course, that 30 American troops just escaped to Belize. Without getting overrun, cause why would they? Holy shit, I'm pushing through Mexico like it's butter. Where the fuck are all the Americans, man? They do not have a lack of divisions. Not at all. I guess they just don't care that much about Mexico. But they will sure cry after the holy site of Texas. It's like the Americans aren't even trying. I think they too just got fed up with this war and they just surrendered. But not officially. Also, I don't think my three collaboration governments are working because all of this is only 19%. So that might have broken at some point. It's no biggie though, it's just gonna take a lot more time. Isn't this just beautiful? Having America divided like this. On the left we have the Democrats and on the right the Republicans. And they absolutely need to stay apart. Cause once every four years they come together and kiss. And the wealth gap is just getting larger every time. I'm basically doing national security for the USA at this point. Yep, the collaboration governments are certainly broken. This only took the USA to 91%. I mean, they still have those three very big cities. But they lost 80% of the country. Have to say this. Probably top 5 my most favorite events in this game. Did I finally core my own country back? What? I purchased Rio Branco? <laughs> nah, sorry man. This wasn't much of a purchase. It was some other kind of business. I think it's wild how I core everything in the Americans except my own country. That's just wild. I did finish the war with it also. I'm only at war with the four Spains, Mongolia and Tanutuva now. So I don't know what the fuck is happening. Also, I'm in fact not coring Cuba or the Caribbean. Oh, Germany's gone. Interesting. Have you guys ever seen a more disgusting map than this one? Because I think this is up there, pretty sure. Anyway, let's spark another international incident and take Canada. I really need it for my collection. Well, this is a beautiful as fuck country. So let's just get rid of this ugly individual up north and wrap this shit up shall we there we go and after not even a full 10 seconds canada is down it was as easy as taking candy from an u.s senator a piece of cake of course they capitulated to germany because yeah they seem in a very good position to make demands but it's fine who the fuck cares about canada anyway certainly not me what the fuck man i'm not coring suriname or french guyana but i core british guyana how the fuck did that even happen Anyway, this was the Chainsaw Man mod, guys. I don't think it's really meant to be played until 52, cause the world is a little bit silly right now. Anyway, the mod overall is pretty good, it has some quality to it. 
I think you can play it even if you don't know anything about the animes it is after. It has quite a fair bit of bugs though, and that's unfortunately because not a lot of people have played it. So there isn't much feedback going on the developer's way. So please, if you enjoyed what you've seen today, download this mod and play it. Because it's quite good and it's a shame that it's not really played. Just because it has Japanese cartoons in it. So let's try to fix that. Because this playthrough was pretty chill. Maybe if I wasn't fighting the USA from 1937, I would have had more fun. But it was quite enjoyable as it was. Thank you very much for watching this far. I hope you liked it. And as always... I would like to thank my Patreons for supporting me every single month. And that one goes for Flossy, Tomilia1, Arctic, Gabe's Licor, Jack M, Erika Mannerheim, Dante Mantis, Griffin Dame, Luminex, Senses, Cyan, Colecraft, Alan No SOS, Bara, Spas Gerov, T3D, and the Anatolian Turk. Thank you guys again, and until next time, don't forget. Man, those fucking Italians. They are at their third goddamn government this game. And outside the colonies, they only lost like Zara. They cannot keep getting away with it. Also, big ass Ausa. Let's go.